Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon or Rising and it's weekly reading for December 9th to the 15th. This week Aries you have the Inner Temple Oracle card, you have the beautiful Nine of Cups, Judgment, the Lovers, the Ten of Wands, the Star and the Four of Cups. So pretty significant reading here Aries, you have half the spread of Major Arcana and also that Ten of Wands is a pretty strong energy as well. So you know the more Major Arcana in a reading often the more closely it links to our soul or karmic contracts, our life lessons, and the more significant it is. I've seen the judgment card coming out a lot in other readers, Aries readings uh, lately as well. So I do feel like some of you are approaching that kind of grand wake-up call as we close out that decade. There are just some few, you know, dense energies, situations, loose ends left to tie up. Um, but we have that beautiful... Um, a star card here to come in and give you that healing that um, you truly do need. Now we're just going to start off by reading out your oracle card in a temple. Devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. You are being called to be a devoted student and tune into your heart to incorporate true devotion into your life. You can, you could be being called to develop a regular meditation, journaling or chanting practice or to show up to your soul with rhythm to develop a daily practice where you fill up your well and spend time with your soul. All of the answers to the questions that you are seeking are waiting in the portal of your heart, but you cannot heal them unless you carve out time each day to listen. Your soul is yearning for a deeper relationship with you, and so the more time you spend with it and show up to it, the more clearly it will guide you. Yeah, that's really interesting, Aries, because you do have the lover's card, which is about a, you know, a key decision of matters of the heart. So... What it's saying is you really need to tune into that area this week and that then the wisdom that you seek really resides within you. So let's um, start here with the Four of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So guys, there is a situation that is ready to complete for you and a situation that's probably been weighing you down and been a bit of a burden for, I would say, some time. I'm going to go as far as to say most of the year for a lot of you it's been a real theme here guys but I feel like you know you've gotten to the stage where you have retreated your energy and started to withdraw from the situation. I think the situation has been a real lesson to you um, for what you don't want in your life. You know sometimes the situations that teach us that you know they really are our great teachers because then you can go forth and know that you won't repeat that cycle again. Um, you know, it can be in the workplace, it can be in, in love and relationships, but you know, this person here has blocked themselves off from receiving from whatever this person or situation is. So it could be, you know, from a lover, you've kind of closed your energy from them, you're not accepting their advances, their passionate offers, their apologies. Same can be said in the, in the workplace, you're just not engaged anymore, you're not really engaged with the team or the role. And I think you're really wanting to manifest something new for your life. Um, but this person is also blocking their heart. You know, they're shut down in that way. So really, we've got to remember that we need to open up that this week because that's where, you know, that truth, that wisdom for making that key decision really resides. But either way, you know, the situation's weighed heavily on you. And also, you know, look at this person here carrying those ten wands. His vision is completely clouded or blocked. Now he can make his way from home to work every day and back because that's a well, you know, well trodden path for him. But would this person be able to see, you know, new pathways, new chapters opening up? No, because he's all, you know, he can't see past the, the weight or the burden that he's carrying. So what this says to me, Aries, is that there's probably quite possibly a whole lot of new, and I'm seeing a network of pathways of options for you, of new paths to walk, but you just can't see them at the moment. So this situation, I feel, is really blocking you guys. So it has to be released in order to get to that ne next chapter. It's a number 10, so it really is a completion. It's a completion that is um, waiting to happen. Now, I also want to point out, guys, that when I finished at the bottom of the deck, there was the tower. So some of you may have, you know, been through a tower moment recently, or there is a possibility that a tower moment could be the thing, you know, that brings the situation to its final close. And that can be, 
you know, a deep, you know, truth or revelation um, coming about the, out about the situation. You know, having that moment of clarity, that vision where you see it for what it is. Um, it can be the argument that blow up, that um, learning something about the personal situation that just makes you change your mind, makes you walk away, makes you put those wands down for, for good. Because I don't think the situation is a fit for you anymore, Aries. And it's just not in line with your highest purpose. So the universe is stepping in, literally, to give you that wake-up call to get you back on your, you know, back on your life path. Because you can't see those paths at the moment. So I think this week is the wake-up call, guys. With judgment and the lovers. So this angel has trumpeted that burgle and really wants to wake you up to the situation. It wants you to wake up to the things, the situations that have kept you small and constricted, kept you carrying weights and burdens that are not yours to carry. You know, that's what it's all about. It's about, you know, living big now, being vulnerable. You might feel vulnerable while you're going through this process, but that judgment card is the wake up call. It is the awakening, maybe even a spiritual awakening for some of you in order to get you to change the course of your life at the moment. Um, but it can be the card of second chances. So if you feel like there is something you can, you know, resurrect, that you can resolve from the situation, that is an option too. But with this tower on the peripheral of the reading, we have to be careful that we don't rebuild the same tower, rebuild the same situation. Otherwise we find ourselves, you know, one month, six months, a year down the track, basically back at the same position and we've just wasted time and we've just spent more time off our life path and maybe missed key opportunities so if you think there is something that can be salvaged from that situation or forgiven forgotten you need to actually create something completely different with that person so if it's in the workplace you you might need to even switch teams you know see if you can take another role in the relationship getting counseling you know really transforming and transmuting those energies now the lovers says that there is going to be a key decision of the heart to be made this week in the situation and I really think it is you know how to complete the situation I don't really think it's whether to because I think it really has to happen but maybe how to complete that situation the lovers card um, you know traditionally in tarot was a decision card one of the biggest decisions, you know, closely tied to that portal of the heart. So that's why we need to make sure that we're tuning into it, that we're keeping, you know, that sense of clarity because all the wisdom that you seek can be found within the heart. You know, it's um, actually been found to have significantly more electrical impulses than the brain. The heart is, you know, one of our brains along with the gut. So there's so much, you know, wisdom to be found there that can really help you make that decision. And once you have made that decision, you have the beautiful star energy on your side, Aries, to basically, it's the calm after the storm. It actually follows the tower in the tarot suit. So basically it says, yes, you might weather a storm this week or in the past you might have already been through the tower moment, but that star energy is right behind there, ready to help you rebalance the emotional waters of life, to ground you, to restore you, to balance your energy. And also to guide you forward. Once you release this load, then you're going to be able to hear the portal of your heart again. You're going to be able to see and feel the sense of divine guidance that's waiting for you. You know, you're going to have that um, renewed sense of clarity. And that's what the star is about. Healing, renewal, restoring, shifting that energy, raising that vibration again. And when you raise your vibration, Aries, you know, you get yourself in a position where you can start to call in the good stuff. This is Nine of Cups crowning your reading here. And I feel like this is where you can be heading if you release that situation. Now the Nine of Cups you know, is about deep contentment and satisfaction on an emotional level. It talks about joy, bliss, love, harmony. And it can also talk about wish fulfillment. So we have the star card here, so it could be a time to make that wish on, a, on the star because the Nine of Cups says that your wishes could come true. They could be fulfilled, maybe not immediately, but you're setting up because you're creating the space, you're creating the right energetic conditions for that to happen. You know, and when we start getting those results, you know, we don't get too comfortable. This person here, he's 
sitting down and taking a moment to reflect on his successes but he's on a hard wooden bench so he's not getting too comfortable because he knows that there's still one more cup to gain there's still the ten of cups reality that ultimate abundance of joy love and harmony to be gotten but he is most definitely heading in the right direction why because he knows when to release he knows when to release dense energies as not to get stuck in them as not to pull his energy down as not to keep having these tower moments so Aries, that's what you're being called to do this week and I wish you all the best with it. Um, keep in mind it's a general reading, it won't be for every Aries. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment because I always love to know how it's playing out in your daily life and I'll see you back here next week for another reading.